here I am at Loch Lomond where there is snow on the mountains and the water is just under five degrees. Mum had a swimming from babies and it was always her drive that we could swim a mile, then we were allowed to give up. Everything I've done has prepared me for ice swimming. Ice swimming is a game up here. It's it's not so much about the swimming. You're not swimming for so long. A kilometre is, or a mile is the top of the ice swimming game. Loch Lubnig is my favourite. It's long and thin, it's surrounded by hills which get ice on them, snow on them. Lomond, because it's the closest, it seems to vary a lot. You have wind, rain, you can get very misty, calm, flat days. My friends in Hawaii do think that I'm crazy and will regularly post beautiful photos of swimming with pods of dolphins and I'll post a photo of, uh, like it is outside today, pouring down with rain, freezing cold and they'll just message and say, you're absolutely nuts, come over here, we'll show you how swimming's done properly. I'll get there one day. The open water swimming definitely makes you feel much more part of the, the ecosystem within which we, we live. It is beautiful, you really get a perspective of yourself as part of a much bigger and much diverse environment. It really helps you value the environment that we are in, value the greenness, the beauty of it, the trees, and it helps you understand and see the impact that we have on the environment, the built environment, and how we can do things differently. Ultimately, we work in the railways, so we're there to help people make the journeys out to beautiful places like Scotland. So um, it gives you that perspective as well. So it gives you something to take back to the workplace. friends that suffer with depression and they're quite open about it and I think because a lot of people see that open water swimming or cold water swimming is something that's linked to help manage depression they talk about it which in its own right helps train geek. It happens to everyone sooner or later. You work in network around long enough you become a train geek. And we'll start talking about the gauging of Russian trains and we'll talk about how the faster trains worked in Korea. And everyone gets engaged and it helps you have those conversations about what we do well and what we can do better. So it's it's a great leveller and it's a great way to break the ice. Mm -hmm.